Hey guys, Val here with another BOA Tech Tidbit. So one of the things that we teach at BOA is communication through body language and word choice and things like that. We teach people how to communicate with each other because so often most misunderstandings happen because people aren't communicating correctly. Well, the same goes with searching. When you're searching Google or searching any other um, search engine online, there's a certain way to write a search query that will make it so you get the best results. So you got to learn how to write in their language. So let me show you. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing that's important is to know how to search phrases because sometimes you want a specific phrase to show up in your in your search results. So if I search Bert Oliva's Boa World, like that, it'll start bringing up anything that says Bert Oliva, um, humanology, you know, it brings up everything because what it's doing is searching for each of these words separately. Now if I put double quotation marks around it though, It'll bring up, if I can type, here we go, it'll bring up just what has Bertoliva's Boa World in it. And as you can see, there's just a couple, and now it's bringing up some really old, old things. The other important thing to do is say I want Bertoliva as one word, and then I want to know anything that has Bertoliva as a phrase, and then I want anything that mentions humanology. If you put a plus sign in front of it, it'll bring up everything that has humanology involved. Okay, which right now it's only bringing up one thing because it has Bertoliva as a phrase and humanology. Now, if I don't, if I want Bertoliva and no humanology, I just put a minus sign in front instead and hit enter. And now it brings up everything else except for humanology. Pretty cool, right? Now, for the most part, Google has gotten much better about searching things that you want based on people's phrases and things like that without you having to use quotation marks and plus signs and minuses. But every once in a while, it's still very useful because you'll search for something and you get results that mean nothing to what you're looking for. So that's it. Now you know how to communicate with Google and Internet Explorer and Yahoo and all the other search engines out there all use the same techniques. So. That's it. And if you want to learn more about how to communicate with humans, check out BowlWorld.com. That's B-O-W-A World.com. And there's Mr. Humanology himself. <laughs> anyway, I'm Val, the IT wizard here at Bowl World. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Tomorrow.